Welcome to uh, an ambiguous stream. Um, it's originally going to be the weekly Pokemon Emerald playthrough with my girlfriend, but as you can see, it is not that. Uh, I am joined, joined instead by Trevor Whatever. It's your boy. Uh, and we're going to be playing a little bit of Into the Breach. So that will be fun. I don't know what I'm going to call this when I put it up on YouTube. Last week, it, we did it's like a, thing. a... Yeah, you know. Last week, I ended up putting the Saturday stream into both playlists because I couldn't decide what to call it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to blow up... What's what's order? What what the heck is uh, rhyme and reason? I mean, let's be honest, play. There's like the VODs <laughs> tend to get like five views each. I don't know how much it matters. I mean, it's fine. We're doing we're doing <laughs> what we love over here. We are. I don't know. Uh, what are you feeling today, Trey? In terms of uh, which group of robots we should go with? Oh, and I forgot uh, to turn the, I forgot to turn the thing on for you. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I gotta um, I gotta look at it. Un momento. It should be good. You should be getting the recursive window. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, these are our options. Oh, whoops. Those are our options. I'm I'm digging the Blitzkrieg's aesthetic. It's very it's very interesting. Yeah. So these guys, their thing is like. Uh... So, for for the benefit of Trey and also anybody else who hasn't played the game in general and into the breach. Uh, it's a turn-based tactics game. You get a squad of three mechs. Three three robotic vehicles are really, if you ask me, only the ones that walk are mechs, but that's splitting hairs. Um, you get, uh, generally, the, the one that is a, a walking individual is the one with, like, the main gimmick. And in the Blitzkrieg group, it has, like, a lightning whip that can do chain damage to enemies and then you got this thing which hooks enemies close and then you got this which literally lobs rocks because you have me at chain lightning yeah and uh, our pilot that we're going to start with is going to be archimedes who we're actually going to put in the tank because his abilities make him better there you might notice that i'm playing on easy that is because this is a very difficult game if you underestimate it Frank, frankly, there is nothing wrong with, uh, with with choosing a difficulty that is fine with your uh, capabilities. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. want to work my way up to normal and hard eventually, but for the vast majority of the stuff, you don't need to be in a B on any particular difficulty, so... You know. Alright. Start at the first island. Yes. And if you have any questions, Trey, you can feel free to ask. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to. Let's see. Do not kill the volatile Vec. I hate that mission, so we're going to do this one. I think I still need just like a regular two island victory with these guys. So that will be pretty good. All right. 40 chess. Well, we get a time pod right off the bat. Those are um, little bonus, like, treasure things, basically. They have an item in them, usually. Mm. Three turns remaining. Yeah. So, you only actually have to, like, strictly speaking, you only actually have to survive um, to in order to, to complete the mission. But you want to do all this stuff because this is how you earn your various, uh, basically the stars or currency, the lightning bolt is kind of an overall HP. If this goes to zero, you lose. Uh, uh, and the time pod, like I said, they give you extra things at the end of the mission if you successfully retrieve one of those. See here. I'm digging the aesthetic of the uh, character portraits and everything. It's really good. It's really, really good. Like the visual style. I didn't really care for FTL's visuals, but I like the, the visuals in this a lot. 
I think I have FTL in my library somewhere, probably Humble, but I, I never got around to actually like trying it. I'm not really big on uh, strategy stuff. It's a, a very hard game. <laughs> so I've um, heard. Well, it's not even like, I don't know. I never found it super difficult. It's more like, um, you know, a lot of, I don't want to say tedium, but I kind of do mean tedium. Just like a lot of stuff you have to remember. And kind of it, esoteric in its execution. A little bit, and like it's all real time, so there's like a reflex element too, mm. which I'm not a huge fan of. Bugs, bugs. Yeah, I don't think it's ever actually explained what the Vec are. They just they look like giant insects. Oh goodness, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Let me think. Can I? can but it'll kill my pilot that doesn't sound seem like a great idea uh could rope this guy down here no that causes the same problem at the end of the day uh, well, I guess I could just have him tank this and then kill these two. That works, right? It's a conundrum. It does not work because this only does two damage. Shoot. Uh, well, I can I can hit it here. I can do that, and then kill just this one. If that'll work, yeah. Okay. Gotta remember that. The electrical current does not travel through buildings. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to let them hit any of these like little towers, because that'll damage your grid. Yeah, yeah. They're like combination apartments and electrical plants. It's pretty weird, but it works. Mm. Okay. And we did get the time pod. Let's see what's in it. Shot cannon. Fire a projectile that hits two tiles, pushing them in opposite directions. Never actually gotten a chance to use that weapon before, and we did get a core for it, so like... Oh, we need two to power it. But we can turn that on later then, I guess. Grappling hook. Grappling hook. Were you, were you ever into Gravity Falls? I don't remember. Uh, yes, I uh, dug the the first season and uh, didn't really get the chance to uh, keep up with the second, but I'll I'll finish it one day. Okay, I didn't yeah. I didn't like the second as quite as much, but you know, you know. Oh, I totally forgot that you can rename your mechs and pilots. Do you have any suggestions for what we should rename them? <clears throat> uh. Yeah, nothing's like, nothing's jumping out at me. What about like uh I don't know. See if there were only two of them, it would be really easy. We could go like tiny and big, pickle and peanut, any one of uh, your your things that you're into, but like there's three. It's a bit harder for a trio. You know? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, we can rename Archimedes to Traybot. <laughs> He's, he's not green, but, you know. He's still a robot. We'll accept it. He's, he's a good lad. Uh, and I did, yeah. Now it will go through buildings, which is usually a good thing. Bailey uh, wanted me to mention that he's a vampire, which is very true. I am the sole robot in a coven <laughs> of vampires. <laughs> well, you know, they say that the world is a vampire. Do, do, do. I sprinkle holy water upon the vampire. <laughs> okay, let me see. I can literally just move out of the way to get away from that, so that's not a problem. Uh... Yeah. 
But is there a better way? I'm gonna say no, actually. No, there is not. That's fine. Let's do this. And do this. And do one of these like so. Strategy. Yeah. Very strategical or <laughs> We're doing our best. Uh hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's no good. I'll have to fix that. This I could just move if I had to. Actually, yeah, this works fine. Whoa. Whoa. The little, like, things that the people say when stuff happens are very good. It's realistic. Yes. Oh, I totally forgot that they wanted us to destroy the dam on this level. I'll have to do that <laughs> next turn, I guess. It reminds me a little bit of Advance Wars, if you've ever played those. I don't know if you have or not. I have not, but I've, I've heard about them and, like, uh recognize some of the gameplay like elements that are are common between the two yeah it's a it's a bit of a smaller scale because you with the exception of a couple mission types where they'll give you like a, a miniature tank or something uh you really only ever have the three units but <laughs> meanwhile bailey noises in the distance Indeed. Uh, special guest appearance. Oh, okay. Why? He's screaming about 2K. No, I'm talking about Jose, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's another one we pulled off pretty well. I'm glad. Uh, also, uh, you mentioned pickle and peanut earlier. My uh, my vinyl figures that I ordered from eBay came in the mail today. Oh, cool! They're great. I love them. That's cool. Are they like? Uh... <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Like they're not like Funko Pops. They're like actual. They're made by Funko, but they look specifically like Pickle and Peanut themselves. Okay, okay. That's what I was kind of trying to ask, like if they were actual yeah, yeah. representations of the characters or if it was something else. Yeah, um, my my fam have done a couple of Funko Pops here and there, and like I have keychains of Finn and Jake that <laughs> look like them, but uh, I, I like those. Gotcha. It can be really hit or miss, I guess. I'm not, like, a huge fan myself, but, you know. It's one of those things where, like, I don't like them, so I just, like, don't buy them. It's not, like, a hard thing to avoid. I guess people, like, get mad about them because then... The, the conception is that if Funkos get made and then don't sell well, then there won't be other figures, but... I don't know. I don't know. I like the ones that uh, feel basically like uh, like solid uh, representations of the characters themselves. Like, for example, uh, there are a set of like Titanfall uh, figures that actually have it, so that you can put the little pilot into the big robot, and it's 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 cool. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. They have a couple of uh, ones that have like specific features for the uh, for for the property in mind, but uh, I guess you know, so more similar to like Figma's or something like that than what people usually associate with the brand. A little bit. Okay, I got um, speaking of getting stuff in the mail since it's like the month of my birthday. Uh, Alice, uh, Central Avenue, got me um, 
Stuart Ashton's book on like obscure British video games. Oh, nice! So I'm looking forward to reading that. It's also a very like like I I don't mean thin in terms of like there not being a lot to it, but like the book is very physically small. Hmm. Like I guess it's like the idea is you can like take it with you easily or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I need to fix one of my robots or I'm going to actually fail that secondary objective. Okay. There we go. Um. Pew. Actually could have so killed even, that. Oh well. So even though we didn't change the names of the characters, the other two besides Trey still have the initials T and B, which is pretty good. <laughs> Do they? I didn't even look at that. That's funny. It's, to it's Ty or Toy and uh, Big B. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Toy and Big B. That's really funny. <laughs> These guys are like the... Yeah. Uh, these guys are like the like semi generic pilots, and Archimedes or Treybot, as he is now known, are like um they have like special abilities. And the thing is, like when you complete a run, you get to take one pilot with you onto the next one. Yeah. So there's like some persistence, but not a ton. Yeah. Uh... rock launcher in the back there actually is an achievement for this squad for beating the first two islands of the game in 30 minutes or less but i don't know if we will accomplish that today it eh. seems like very difficult to do but who can say who can say where the <laughs> Uh Oh wait, no 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 no. Zap. Zap. Zap, crackle and pop. That's not quite rice. No, it's it's it's, it's not quite rice krispies. <laughs> <laughs> Like Rice Krispies for robots. Like Rice Krispies, but like spelled with a C instead of a K. <laughs> okay, will this like destroy the train? It absolutely would. Okay, so let's not do that. Um. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I could just so drag it on down. Yeah. Actually, uh, go go. We are uh, reading the chat. I've I've got it up on my. Uh, oh, tablet. I'm not actually seeing anything in the chat, which is why I wasn't responding. Let me mm. refresh my uh, my page. That might be worth. That yes, a I am so sorry. I see you, Orphan, and I see you, Go-Go. Um, I, uh, I had chat open on my other monitor, and I guess because uh, it, like... I, I don't know why it wasn't updating, actually, but I, I didn't... Uh, I was not getting any updates. I'm really sorry about that. I've got I've got a Bailey, so I'm, I'm paying attention to many things. No, that's okay. Yeah. That's my own fault for not thinking to do that. Hopefully, Orphan no, didn't, didn't leave. That's actually uh, somebody from the uh, Trans Tabletop Discord. Oh, fun. Yeah. I'm gonna feel a little bad if, if they showed up and then, like, thought we were ignoring them. But, what oh, yeah, do, yeah. I guess. 
I was actually uh, watching watching a little bit of Mixer last night, like just to just to to see what the service was like and everything, and I I think I dig it. What is Mixer? It's basically Microsoft's like equivalent to Twitch, but like their big feature that they have like over it is the fact that it uh ha has like lag free streaming. Okay. I don't I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, that is nice. And it honestly it wouldn't be terrible for Twitch to get some competition if only so they can fix the few outstanding issues their service does have, but we'll see how that goes. I remember when everybody thought that hitbox was gonna be the Twitch killer and then that never really never really panned out. You saved Horus. I did save Horus the train. Vec threat detected. Yes. Uh Oh yeah, now we get the uh, the final boss of this uh this region. There is the low lag mode on Twitch. Low stream delay means more bandwidth usage. I actually had no idea that there was a low lag mode on Twitch. <laughs> That's news to me. I had no clue. Oh god, it's the Firefly leader. I hate this thing. It's a pink boy. Yeah, and it fires in two directions for, I think, yeah, three damage. It's Yikes. a problem. I think. Can I kill it this turn? Survey says maybe. Really, what I mostly want to focus on doing is getting it out of the way. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, pull you down here. Hit you with the boulder. And then just zap you and be prepared to tank one next turn. Yeah. That works. We're doing oh, it. no! <sighs> that was stupid. Oh. Yikes. Because he fires in both directions. Alright, well... Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, we're still at the early stage of the game where pilots are not expendable, but, it, like, losing them isn't the end of the world quite yet. Right. But still, that, uh, that sucks. Um, how am I gonna do this? I can't get either of my units in range because this is in the way. This is the regen one, right? Yeah. Blood Scion. I might have completely bungled this up. And are there, like, no ways to uh, redo missions? Nah, uh, you can, like, yeah. abandon the timeline, which is, like, Quitting the whole campaign, but you get to keep one of your pilots. Uh, but we are still very early on, so like, it wouldn't be the end of the world to do that. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit... Well, let me see here. The only thing that would prevent this from being a total disaster is that uh, buildings have a, a chance, right now it's 15%, to resist damage. If w this one resists, we'll be good still. But if not, oh. we're going to have to restart. Uh, and it did, so we'll at least give this a shot. 
Let's see. Uh, hmm. The old college try. Yeah, like... It's actually real bad. <laughs> He's uh, a resilient bugger, isn't he? He is a resilient bugger, yeah. Uh, you have to enable it somewhere in the settings, and when I turned it on, it was still in beta. Yeah, one of the things I don't like about Twitch is that a lot of options are, like, hidden away behind obscure tabs that you're never going to know that you need to click on until you're looking for a specific thing. And the... A lot of like the account management stuff is behind verification screens and what whatever else. Yeah, we've totally messed this up. Okay. Mm. Yep. I'm back at it again in the hangar. Uh I forgot that you can recolor your mechs too. You feeling anything other than the, uh, the, uh, like, yellowish-white? Surprise me. Alright. I do like blue. Good choice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got to put him in the tank. All right. Air support. Defend the artillery support. We'll do both of these. This is one of those games that's a little bit harder to play when you're uh, talking, also. But you know. That's fair. One of I the. Mean, one of the. One of the, it's a different vibe, a different feel. Yeah, one of the uh, the understood perils of streaming, I think. And we've got an occasional Bailey to add spice. <laughs> for me. Occasional Bailey. Sounds like a like a home like a, a an artisan beer or something. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, an old Bailey is my. Uh, my favorite IPA. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good. This is one of the ones I was talking about. Like occasionally, they'll give you a, a an extra like mini unit, like this artillery truck here, right? Or whatever you'd call it. Does this push? It does not. Okay. Although I can, can pull it into range, though. Like so. You still have units that will act. Yeah. They will lose their turn. Old Bailey sounds like a long drink. What is a long drink? Is that a specific kind of alcohol? I don't I don't know anything about booze whatsoever. So I do also like that Archimedes' whole thing is that he's, like, exasperated by having to live in the not-future. <laughs> he's, he's doing his best. It's like, ugh, so primitive. He doesn't, I don't think he's supposed to have a French accent, but I really wish they did. Robot. Robot Rock. 
Go go, you are not an idiot. You you uh just don't have very uh extensive like brewologist levels of uh knowledge about alcohol, which is fair, neither do we. Uh a cocktail kind of thing. You cocktail. are not you are not an idiot for not knowing uh, specific alcohol related terminology. If that makes somebody stupid, then good lord, I must be like a a mental infant. Unbecoming of my capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just like, he's... I, I, I can, I can do so much more than this shit. <laughs> he's very done. Yeah. That's kind of I the, Ar it. that's kind of the Archimedes aesthetic. It's there's pretty there's, good. There's actually several, uh, robot pilots. I think three or four. Hmm. It's uh, him, the guy that I forget the name of, and uh, Prospero. I think is the other one. Gotcha. And his thing is that he like puts everything in like a gardening metaphors. Hmm. It's pretty great. Um. Yeah, like, literally the best thing I can do here is just tank this, because the bomber's gonna take these two out at the start of the next turn. Okay. And there we go. The best part about that is that even if the uh, bombers, like, do something useful, your guys will still yeah. complain about it. Death from above. Yeah, <laughs> blop, blop. <laughs> Never seen that one before. <laughs> That's pretty good. How does that feel, you burrowing SOB? gracious gosh the writing in this game uh, adds a lot of character because there's not really it, much in the way of plot yeah it's definitely uh punching above its weight there yeah i dig it it's a good video game a quality videogram yeah This stream becomes a lot funnier if you imagine that Bailey is like ad libbing our conversation. He's he's in there uh, in the background figuring <laughs> figuring out what's happening. Hey. And making noises. You do get one turn reset uh, per mission, which I just used because I accidentally bunged up the one secondary objective. Ah. Uh. Uh, and just like have you repair, and we're good. Yeah. Nothing a little spit and grease can't fix. Glad you think so, my man. The Vec have been detected. Leave the area. There's also a robot version of the generic pilots. This guy with this like helmet thing down here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Destroy the dam. Defend the tanks. Defending the tanks is easier. We will do this one. I'm not like majorly gunning for it, but I would. Wouldn't mind certainly getting this uh, achievement for beating the first two islands under 30 minutes. We got a pod on the way. A pod. Pod? A pod. iPod. iPod, U pod, we all pod. 
God. Can you imagine just a giant, uh, a giant iPod just, like, on the scale of a kaiju just in the middle of the city? <laughs> you know, you know, chilling. It fell from the sky, and it's, like, loaded up with 2000, late 2000s, early 2010s hits, like TikTok by Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> giant fucking like space odyssey monolith ipod comes crashing out of the sky just blaring buy you a drink by t-pain i'd pay i'd pay to see that movie <laughs> i'd do it <laughs> they're all like what does it mean it means aliens dug what we were listening to 10 years ago my dude we need to go back uh, to the golden times. The good old days. Of, like, ten or less years ago. Uh, <laughs> the late Bush administration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anyone else think? Um, this is a real pickle. Uh, but is it a peanut? No, just a pickle, unfortunately. Hmm. Bo, 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 etc. Yeah. What if... Now, bear with me. What if... No, that would destroy the tank. I don't want to destroy the tank. Oh, I can just move it out of the way and then put you in the water and have you tank the shot, I guess. Not really an ideal solution, especially because we're going to have a bunch of more bugs on screen next turn, but that's okay. <clears throat> we got anything truly annoying? No, just hornets and fireflies still. There's some later on that are, like, an actual issue. But can we use the tanks yet? Thank you. Okay. Answer. Yes. Um. Let me just move you out of the way. Uh. Kill this. Move that over there. Plunk you into the water. And put you over here. And have you prepare. Put you... Uh... Actually have you kill this. There we go. And that's the way it is. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Deep sixed. The uh, hook tank is really good on these levels because I can just pull things into the water. Mm. And most, uh... Vec that cannot fly cannot swim. Ah. Uh, I got a Y'all can't even blame that. Playing to their, playing to their weaknesses. Yeah, and there's a one comment that Archimedes makes. It's like, why did the Vec spawn on a planet with so much water? <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, install the building chainer, if you would. Destroy the dam, defend the train, take less than three grid damage. Uh, we'll defend the train. Come on, ride the train and ride it. Hostiles detected. <laughs> I like your voice acting for that robot. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, 
Can I engineer like a big old, big old lightning chain here? Possibly. And you Possibly. know what? You know what they say about lightning chains. Lightning. Thunder. <laughs> Your vex sanitations, sanitization skills are improving. Due to my influence, no doubt. <laughs> the the other good thing about these guys is that if you ever want to use them as like avatars on somewhere, like there you go. It's yeah. just kind of already done for you. Yeah. Oh wait, shoot. Hmm. Repairs done. Well, that's not gonna work because I wanted it to, but that's okay. The, the Vec are surfacing. Uh... Got a shell scion. These things are annoying. They don't actually do anything on their own, but depending on the color. They, um, do, they, like, they give bonuses to the other Vec. They're basically, like, the, the, a little buff thingy that you gotta kill, too, in addition. Yeah. There is, a like, a module you can get for your robots that lets you also benefit from their being on screen. But mm. it's only sometimes worth it in my limited experience. Gotcha. Oh, jeez, we gotta deal with the spider monstrosity already. Okay. It pulls from a pool of random bosses. A crawly boy. A crawly lad. Them eyes, though. Yeah. It looks like he's got, like, 12. Uh... Yeah, let me, let me count. Two, four, six... Eight, ten. Eh, close enough. Yeah. Now, if I just move this away... <laughs> I can totally, like, take out all of this with one lightning whip, so that's pretty great. I said whip it! Into shape. Shape it up. Get straight. Is that what he says? I can never remember the lyrics to whip it. It's a... It's Go a, forward. Move ahead. It's, a, it's not too late <laughs> to whip it. It's one whip of it good. one of those songs that's like so weird that I forget that it actually has lyrics. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. True. Sure. It's, it's like all-star. It transcends mere song lyrics. 2K is making Bailey mad again. <laughs> I can hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shoot. Loss. Can't take that out then. Unless I do. Hold on. Unless I do one of these. Can Can I just take a second to mention how how annoyed I am at the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops 4's logo doesn't know how to Roman numeral? Oh, I remember seeing a bunch of like arguments about this on Twitter the other day, <laughs> like whether or not the uh, the four stroke, like the four eyes, is an appropriate Roman numeral or not. <laughs> God. It, it's it's silly, which is is like appropriate given that it's Call of Duty and like nobody's expecting uh, grade A quality uh, think thinking material out of it. But still, <laughs> <laughs> did your school also have like a fairly extensive unit on Roman numerals? Uh, not extensive. I mean, I I learned them on my own on account of the fact that my name has one in it. Oh, yeah. I forget that a lot, but that's true. It yeah. does. But, um, like, 
I don't know if it's because I went to a Catholic school or what, but in like grade, well, no, I wasn't even in, in a Catholic school yet at that point. But like grade two and three, we had like pretty, pretty long units on Roman numerals in math class. I think they're fascinating, though, honestly. They are. Yeah. Oh, we got, like, a, a, a good pilot. Um, a man's... Ralph Carlson. Uh, spend money. Critical shields. If power grid is reduced to one, all buildings gain a shield. Uh, no. Auto shields, also not very good. Shield array, which I can't use. I'm just gonna get cores, I think, and then power up the grid a little bit. None of that is really super duper useful right now. It sounds like a plan. Let's see. Uh. You get this. Calf Rawlson. I guess I could, like, give more damage to the Rock Lobber. That seems like a decent idea. Leave Island. We gotta Lobbing do... rocks. Gotta do this one. This lady's stick is that she's, like, cranky. And doesn't yeah, doesn't believe yeah, that you're time traveling. I got I got the vibe <laughs> that she was a bit of a hard ass. <laughs> she also doesn't believe that you're time travelers, which you are in the in the context of the game story. Cut off the vacuum skip roots, then we'll wipe them out one by one. <laughs> Trey voice pack when. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. Uh... Oh no! Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to reset my very first turn. That's quite upsetting. Uh... Localized breach completed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Who, who, who are you? Okay. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Wow, this is like a really, really unfortunate situation to be in. Okay, actually, wait, I think I figured it out. I can pull you away, and now I can take all of them out in one. There we go. That attack came close to approaching my own performance levels. Kill five enemies. Watch the terrain. RST is constantly shifting and breaking apart. Uh... Gogo says that it's an unary or unary number system in regards to uh, COD blops four or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll we'll just say it's tally marks. <laughs> tally marks. God. Wait, why can't I move now? Well, that's real bad. Um. Did I? I must have forgotten to account for remove. Shoot. Well, I guess there goes there go those buildings. Um. Let's see. Soldier Scion. <laughs> He's a green boy. He is. Yeah, that's really annoying. Shoot. Bailey yelling about how he's stupid. Who? Bailey. <laughs> I think it's sarcastic in response to one of his friends. I don't know. Me. 
Well, you have to be your best friend. Your own best friend, generally. Something, something. Uh, Justin it's Bieber, no surprise love yourself. to me, I am my own worst enemy. Have you ever gone to the YouTube comments on that song? No. Okay, I'm gonna share a astounding fact with you. If the Vec think they're wearing me down, they've got another thing coming. If that would've gotten... So, uh, you look pretty dead, though. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna fulfill the current the kill five enemies thing. That's a little irritating. But, uh, so the band that makes that song is called Lit, right? Lit. Do you want to take a guess as to what the comments for the YouTube video are like? Probably lots of the okay hand emoji are involved. Less that and more like people being angry that lit refers to things other than the band now. God. <laughs> it's really funny, even though it's not supposed to be. <laughs> it, it, that's still pretty good. Get my glasses, I want to see! Same. <laughs> God. Uh, have another one of these soldier scion things. Can I, like, push you? No. The pushing goes the other way. Hmm. Like, again, I don't think I can do anything to this beetle. It's really irritating. Beetle. Beetle Bailey. Maybe I can. Hold on. Yeah, okay. That works. Uh... Okay. I'd be... Yes. I'd be remiss uh, as a Destiny fan to uh, not mention just how similar the name the Vec is to the Vex. Yeah, I don't know if that's... I assume it's just a coincidence, because they're not really it, anything it, like the Vec or the Vex, but yeah. still. They, one, one are bugs, which is probably more like the Hive in Destiny, if anything, and then the other are just robots. Robot lads. Robot. Robot lads. Boulder Mac. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's just, like, because of the way that his character portrait looks from afar or what, but uh, Ralph kind of gives me a very Bruce Campbell sort of vibe. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He doesn't, like, look much like Bruce Campbell, I don't think, but maybe, like, Bruce Campbell could play him in a movie. Maybe. Who knows? Ah, this building's gonna take damage now, because I'm dumb. Whoops. Uh-oh. Well. End with less than four mech damage. And protect the emergency batteries. Which we are doing, but... Still... Can I put you... No, I cannot. So is it always four turns? Uh... Usually, I think there might be a few where it's not. But mm. I'm not actually 100% sure now that I think about it. Um... 
Uh, can I? Okay. I'm gonna have you just like tank this, I guess, and then you can get pulled over here. Pulled. Oh, I could have done that instead, huh? Oh well. Yeah, I completely messed that up. Mm. Uh, oh well. Not like fatally, but still. Enough that it was kind of bad. Something, something, suboptimal play. Bugs, baby. This one's not running back to its hive. I can just... Boulder. And there we go, der. Tactical algorithms updated. Warning. Enemy activity. Warning. Oh, incoming mean. game. Warning. Warning. You see that they're rebooting reboot? That's... The, 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 okay. <laughs> that, that's, that seems like the kind of thing that would be kind of kind of weird like yeah definitely like akin akin to rebooting code lyoko like yeah like that i i agree with you and also i think it's going to be a live action series which is like code lyoko like code lyoko yes good god i don't know i don't know about that like the weird part is that there's already been like for a while now has already been like reboot comics that like continued the story from the show which I barely remember I mean I was like a kid when that was on the air but yeah it's just kind of an odd pick I find myself wondering like in in an age where TV CGI on like that that you could find on even like a kids like show uh, would be akin to cinematic level stuff in the late '90s when the show was originally created. How how much are you going to be able to really replicate the original feel of it, like with uh, with what we have now? Yeah, like know? it would be one thing if they were gonna do that, but like I said, the reboots live action, so I don't know. Well, if you gotta have even... some sort of animated element to it. It'd be weird if that there wasn't. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know what the what the game plan is. The stuff that I saw was pretty vague. Hmm. Um. And honestly, the nature of these things, they often end up sitting in development limbo for like how many years? So. Yeah. <laughs> might never even get made. Gosh. Uh. Yeah, okay. You may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. Uh, find yourself. Oh, cool. That kills that one. And then we terraform that one. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Terraform the grassland back to desert. Hmm. That seems backwards, but I mean, okay. Uh, the, uh, I, I only know this because I've read, like, the mission briefing for this one before. Um, uh -huh. in the first quarter. The, the reason they want to do that is because the Vec breed in, like, grassy areas. Ah. Uh. And, as we later find out, also in volcanoes. Hmm. Okay. 
Got one more. Defend the Earth movie. Um, yeah, I don't normally do the super easy ones, but yeah, we'll do this. Do this. Defend the Earth Mover. I always thought that the Time Pod sprite made them look like spilled buckets. Yeah, that that <laughs> is very, very much what it looks like. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza. Or like a a pot for a a plant, a plant that yeah. fell on the ground and all the soil came out of it. That is the other thing it looks like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn webs locking the servos. Spies sapping my sentry? Spy. Yeah, I pulled that one out of like 2004. <laughs> Incredible. Um, oh, I can, like, bomb... Did you hear that Valve might actually be making games again? I did not hear that. What are they, what are they making? They, they say they've got a couple of things, like, in the works for, like, the Vive and just in general and stuff. I'll believe it when I see it, Gabe, but, like... Yeah, yeah. that's kind of my general attitude, too. I also, like, yeah. I'm still not sold on VR, like... It doesn't really seem to be catching on in the way that they want it to. Yeah, I I find myself enjoying it, but like, even even what I've got is just like a, a headset that like works with my phone. Like it's nothing nothing nearly on the sort of level that uh, Valve's working with with the Vive or even Oculus with the Rift or anything like that. Yeah, like um, I don't know, like it it's, it, it's cool. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think the biggest thing is that there's a really high barrier to entry right now in the yeah. form of the prices and everything. Like, most people can't really afford to put, like, a $1,000 headset in their home. Yeah. And, like, re relay out their entire, like, floor plan for whatever room it is spe specifically going to be yeah. in or anything like that. Like, like that's a lot of investment. Yeah, like even the cheap ones are a couple hundred bucks. Cause I know my mom was looking at like the PSVR, and they have like a a bundle at GameStop. And now, mind you, this is the cheap bundle. Oh, we got Henry Kwan. That can move through enemy. I don't think I've gotten this guy before. Henry. Henry. Pilot found. Uh. He might be better Look, suited to this, actually. Yeah. Now the odds are in our favor. And now I'll, I'll put this guy back here, then. Oh, good, Godly. we get the beetle. Alright. The beetle. Look, it's George Harrison. <laughs> I don't know why that was the beetle that I went for. Probably the, like, least recognizable one. <laughs> uh... Can I slap you? I can. And it made dust, which canceled their attack. Let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, okay, oh wait, you can't drown the boss monsters, that's right, oh well, should be okay anyway. Cuthunk, there it goes. Oh, 
I don't know why I did that now that I think about it, because I'm just going to kill it anyway. Oh well. I was showing uh, Kennedy my pickle and peanut vinyl figures because <laughs> she just got home. Cool. Yeah. Pickle and or peanut. The boys. The absolute units. All right. Now we get to buy things. What do we got here? Vulcan artillery. Vulcan. Like the target it's on like fire. Fuck. Defensive shrapnel. Viscera nanobots. I really like that one, so we will get that. Actually. All right, uh, I will be right back. Power available. How did that happen? Oh, he gives an extra mech reactor and give it two extra health. Ah, um, uh, yeah. Listen to that mech purr. <laughs> uh, I will be right back, and when I return... Oh, what's, what's up? Uh, never answered my question if Shredney is still out of order. Oh, um, we don't really know yet. He wasn't scheduled for tonight in the first place, and I think he's just, like, not home. Because I, I pinged him before the stream. Today's stream was kind of ramshackle, because it was originally supposed to be, uh, uh, PJ Live with Carrie, but she had a thing that came up unexpectedly, so she couldn't make it. So I called Trey, and now we're doing this. Regular shapes and forms will be tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can get him in, but we need to test his his thing. Because last week it wasn't working at all. So, fingers crossed. It's really just not the same without Shredney. It's got to be all three of us. Yeah. The, we're, we're a trio. The terrific trio. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be right back and we will do the last stand mission. One of these days I'll do a full like four island victory on on, on camera, but not today. Or maybe I'll One do day. Yeah. And then we will switch over to something else. Maybe GeoGuessr or I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, I'll be right back. <clears throat> you find yourself It's okay, I'm boring, you can say it. <laughs> No, I, I, I got you, Go Go. You're good. Final mission. Final mission.
in a lifetime water flowing underground into the blue again after the money's gone once in a lifetime Coconut. Hello. Coconut. 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 Gin and coconut water. Can I get it in America? Well, Trey. Well. Can I? I'm. I don't know. Can you? Huh? <laughs> Answering a question with a question. The forbidden technique. Forbidden. Sour, please. Isn't that the one when it's like the guy... F I don't actually have Twitch... What the hell is it called? Twitch Plus or, or whatever. Better Twitch TV. That's the thing. It's like the add-on for Twitch that has a bunch of other emotes. That's the one where the guy's like falling over and on, onto the floor in a supermarket, right? The supermarket. Do you ever wonder why they call it the supermarket? It's not like there's anything particularly super about it. Because it's a super, it's a market, but it's super dope. It's got everything. Does it have everything? Does it? Does it really? Yes. The wink. Has all the vitamins and nutrients that a growing young boy needs. Kid tested. Robot approved. <laughs> it's like an advertising slogan for a hundred years in the future like kids love it and also we had our you know 24 hour group of robot employees test to make sure that it was the optimum nutrient value in every bite Kix is a, a, a cereal that's uh, endorsed by androids everywhere I'm going away. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've had Kix in like a decade at least. God, I, I, I can't, I can't remember the last time I ever had kicks. <laughs> They're not a very interesting cereal, to be fair. They're just like... They're like, they're like balls with, like, sugar co coated. Yeah. That's like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's corn balls with sugar. What about the needs of young girls? The young, the and the needs of young gender confused people like myself. No, you need a different cereal. It's kicks for boys, and then what's a girl? Are, are there? Is that a thing yet? Is like, do they have like gendered cereal now? Oh God, that has to be a thing. 
I I wouldn't be. Uh, there are frozen there are frozen licensed cereals. There you go. I guess. So I I don't I don't, I don't know if that would like directly count, but like you know. Yeah, there's gotta be like some cis hetero nonsense. With some guy out there who's like, my daughter can't eat man cereal. I need to get her the Elsa endorsed frozen frosted flakes. You know, people are like that sometimes. I think Trey vanished again. No, I'm still here. I'm just uh, observing from afar as my brother does the fort. Is he? That's the uh, the soccer, uh, not soccer, basketball one, right? Uh, no, that's that's uh the PUBG one. That's like free dope. Uh... And you build and you build stuff. Oh, he's playing Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I thought he was playing some basketball thing. That game's got microtransactions? I didn't know that. Uh, I think Fortnite does have microtransactions, but he wasn't, like, asking me for for that. He was asking for 2K money. Oh, okay. Is, is 2K the one that's basketball stuff? Yeah, that's basketball. Uh, okay, that's where I was confused. I didn't realize he had switched games at some point. That's what that's what you do. That is sometimes what you do, yes. Yeah. No son, there is a unicorn on these cereals, they're for girls. That is for girl. Girl. We can't have our boys eating rainbow cereal. Uh it's way worse for males. I guess with that particular thing it is. I don't know. Gender bullshit doesn't help anybody. We yeah, have we have very controversial opinions on this show, such as don't gender discriminate cereal. <laughs> Speaking of pointless gender discriminating like consumer products for kids, did you hear that Toys R Us might be going under? Oh yeah, yeah. How are you that one that one hurts my heart a little bit. Also, Barnes and Noble firing a bunch of people out of nowhere. That yeah, was, that was that just stuff. like actually horrible. Yeah, like firing a bunch of people is already like not a good thing to do as a company, and then they did it like shortly after the holidays, which is just way worse. Yeah. How in the world can I do this? Hey Bailey, how far in are you? Halfway there. Living on a prayer. Don't Ooh. die. <laughs> that applies to you. That applies to you too, Jane. Don't die. Yeah, unfortunately the power grid's going to take a big hit this turn, because I'm a fool. And a simpleton. Defend the Renfield bomb until it explodes. Yeah, that's that thing down there that looks like a... I don't know, what do you think it looks like? Uh, the, the orb? Yeah, the orb. Do not question the orb. All hail the glow cloud. All hail the mighty glow cloud. Yo, I miss when, like, Night Vale had just started and had not become, like, a massive commercial enterprise yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember those days. That was fun. I used to listen to it while I was at Bailey's soccer games and not paying attention to the dang thing that was happening on field. <laughs> I was... Scion Tyrant. All player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Cool. That's fun and great. 
translator's about note. Status, status effect? Yeah, that's the, what this guy does. Yikes. Translator's note, it was not fun or great. Uh... Translator's note, Kaikaku means thing. Translator's note, Kaikaku means plan. You know, do you ever wonder if, like, there are people in Japan who watch Western cartoons with Japanese subtitles? Oh, I have no doubt in my mind, honestly. Like, actually, I was just talking about how Pickle and Peanut is, like, significantly more popular over there uh, than it is here. Oh, yeah. And it makes me, it makes me wonder, yeah, is... Is it is it redubbed for uh, Japanese audiences? I'd it imagine it probably out. would be, but there has to be at least a couple of people out there that uh, that have to watch it in its original like language. Yeah, well, I remember when um, when I was still like super active in the Steven Universe fan community, there yeah. was uh, like a thing that some people from Studio Trigger did on Reddit. And they asked Trigger, like the, the Trigger staff, um, if there were any Western cartoons they liked. And they were like, yeah, we like Steven Universe, but we only get the episodes like eight months after you guys do. So it kind of sucks that way. Yeah. Which makes me wonder if like the whole fan sub thing is not as popular in Japan or if it's just that since they work for a cartoon studio they didn't want to be like oh yeah we we totally pirate other people's yeah. cartoons it could be either one I think I might die. tell Bailey not to die Bailey Jane says not to die <laughs> He's in the like storm thingy, I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Where, what, I don't know what where it's like outside of the circle that you have to be at. So like while you're outside the yeah, circle, it slowly that? kills you until you can get back in. Huh. Yeah, I don't know a ton about like battle royale games, but they all have that mechanic, right? Where there's like, uh, oh jeez, that's uh, a real where... problem. Where the the Empire, game Empire. like playing area gets us uh, smaller, gets smaller yeah. and smaller. Okay, I can rescue the bomb by bringing it over here, and that will keep it safe. Okay, good. GoGo -Go says some some series don't get over there until years later, and loads of people that are into the international community usually just watch online, right, down, usually down, with see, pirate streams. Fun. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. I just wasn't yeah. sure if, like... Like, I know there's, like, a big uh, fan subbing culture in, like, Latin America, but I wasn't sure if it was, like, exclusively... Like, fan subbing was, like, exclusively, like, an, an American... Like, America the continent thing. Or or if that was global. But I guess the answer is uh, global. Yeah. Fun stuff. Anyway, uh, we just beat the game, so hooray. Hey! Jump! Don't forget me, or what we did Jump. today. Yes, hey, I'll sir, I know what we're gonna remember today. <laughs> that was what. Phineas and Ferb is one of those shows I have a weird relationship with, because, like, I never watched it, but my younger brothers did, so I have, like, some absorbed like osmosis knowledge of it yeah oh. the deck hive has motivated. been destroyed yes. saving this timeline from ultimate doom you saved 4.6 billion lives yay you're a good I did the thing 
created by Justin Ma and Matthew Davis, who I believe form subset games. I think I it's... feel like I recognize the name Avalon too, Chris Avalon. Uh he's done other stuff. He has done other other games. Let me, let me, let me look that up because I know I, I know I know the name from himself. somewhere. Yeah. Chris Avalon. American video game designer and comic book writer. He worked for Interplay and Obsidian Entertainment before becoming a freelancer. Oh wow, he's done a ton of stuff. Conquest of the New World, Descent to Under Mountain, Fallout 2, Planescape Torment, Icewind Dale, and all of its expansions. Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, Icewind Dale 2, Lionheart, Baldur's Gate 3, Van Buren. I remember that. I remember it never coming out, I think. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking of something else, but... Uh, Champions yeah, Van Buren was uh, the version of Fallout 3 that Interplay was working on, uh, but it never came to fruition because Interplay went bankrupt. Okay. Uh, we'll take Treybot with us to the future. Uh, future! I only have I only have two medals, unfortunately, so I can't unlock anything, which would be like a fun thing to cap the stream with but that's okay not the stream the segment uh yeah. what do you want to do now because i don't really have a preference also uh why did this bring up the northern lion live super show or a vod thereof uh, Good from question. from nick's perspective that's really strange <laughs> Gosh, I don't, I, I don't know. Descent to Under Mountain. I think LGR made an episode about that. Yeah, it's like infamously horrid. <laughs> Everything else I've heard of on there is is pretty good, though. I think from what I from what I know. Um, yeah, Divinity: Original Sin too, and then Into the Breach this year, as well as Burden of Command, which is not out yet and I've never heard of. Yeah, I guess he maybe they brought him on for like dialogue or or something like that. Anyway, yeah, probably. Um, we could always just play GeoGuessr, but let me pop open my Steam library and see if there's anything. This is like the front page. What, Steam? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on now. Steam, buddy, you okay? You you need you need you need to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, hollowed. What is this? Well, that's not like weird Minecraft with zombies thing. Oh wait, anyway, maybe not. No, that's definitely not that. Never mind. Um, I don't know. You want to just do GeoGuessr or? Uh, there we go. Just play through the entirety of Half Life Two in the show. You know. Nice. Uh, try playing potato. Potato man seeks the truth. Actually, funnily enough, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Install on this machine. Streams from Magic. Can I do that? Can I just like? Be like, hey, Steam, I want this on this monitor. You are about to run this game on another computer and play it here using in home. Can I do this? Hold on, I want to try this now. Because uh, Potato Man actually... Oh. Okay. Never mind, then. Requires additional drivers. But funnily enough... Um, funnily enough, Potato Man will actually not run on this computer. It, like... Huh. It does, like, some kind of internal check for a specific kind of graphics card, and mine does not have it. So it won't even, like, gotcha. it won't even, like, try to run. It does run, funnily enough, on my smaller computer. And it runs, like, perfectly. Which is, is odd. Irony. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just do GeoGuessr. I mean, it's an old standard. But it is for a reason. And I will 
pull up the other computer so I can still read chat fairly well. Go, go, the most loyal of loyal viewers. <laughs> Geo Gisar. Guessing the Geos. What are you feeling in terms of location today, Trey? You're up! Calling all in transit. Radio Free Europe Radio. Calling radio all free. in transit. Well, calling like all thing. in transit. Radio Free Europe Radio. WRFL's 30th birthday was earlier this week. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Because I know you had that like big show you had to host last week and everything. Yeah, the, fe the fe festival went pretty well. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you know. I was curious yeah. about how, how it was going, because I, I, I remembered yeah. you, said, you said that, um, who was it, Washed Out were there? Uh, yeah, I actually got to meet Ernest, who uh, cool. is, the, is the guy behind that, like, project and everything. I, there's, there's a picture of us together on Instagram. And, <laughs> That's uh, really fun. And then I also, uh, basic, basically, I was helping with just keeping everything uh, A-OK -okay and running just fine, you know. Cool. Uh, do, doing my part to keep our, our stations, like, uh, okay. reputation uh, intact or whatever, <laughs> I guess, as, as Lexington's only alternative left, etc. Yeah. These streams are just so comfy. Well, thank you, Gogo. I actually appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So, like, no wild parties. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well. Nah. We we had we we did have a couple of sequences where it, it got pretty wild. I mean, uh, we had we had a noise band called Hair Police that played, and I'm ninety percent sure that Shredney would recognize them. So I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll mention them the next time he's around. But like there there was there was crowd surfing, and I wasn't sure what the heck to make of uh, the whole experience. But you know there was that, and then uh, the band Nine Town Hammer, who are like. Uh, part of RFL's history and everything, and actually did the theme song to 12 Ounce Mouse, uh, they also had crowd surfing and cool. moshing in, in the uh, in, in the whole uh, place where we were doing everything. It was fun. That sounds really cool. Hey, I have, yeah, a, I... I have an unrelated question real quick. Retouche de socks? Yeah, do you want to get your socks retouched? Real quick, just like while we're here, I mean, I know you've been wanting to get that done for a while, and I mean, we might as well. <laughs> La boutique. <laughs> On a two I love their logo. It's just this, this chameleon boy hanging out. That's Pascal from from Tangled. Is the boy? Huh. Actually, s. I mean, I assume we're somewhere where they speak French. So yeah. probably France, although it could also be the French-speaking part of Belgium, Walloon land or whatever it's called. Uh, actually, hold on one second. Be right back. ERB ERB I don't have any AR bro <clears throat> All right Sorry I uh I wanted to get a pillow for my chair real quick because my back was starting to hurt. Mm. Finally got our new mattresses today, so I no longer have to sleep on a broken pile of steel beams every night. Oh, nice. So nice. that's good. Definitely. 
It, all improvements are are welcome. He's, he's on. He's on. He's on. <laughs> um. We also got a new TV last week. I don't know if, if I mentioned this. I think I mentioned oh, nice. it briefly on the server. We got like an LG smart TV, which I I mean, like we have one now, and I still don't really know what that means. Like you can go on the internet with it, which is cool, I guess. But it's got apps. It does have apps. It's got like built-in Netflix, Hulu, and. There's a third one. It's like Amazon Video. Amazon. Amazon Video or something, I think. Um. But, uh. Yeah. A smart TV mm -hmm. is a TV plus apps and internet. Yeah. That, uh, is the. Television. Tele it's like an, uh, a television and a computer, but somehow much less convenient than a computer. Because <laughs> you got to use the remote for everything. But Actually, and when I say that, you have to use the remote for everything. There are literally no buttons on it whatsoever. It's extremely futuristic. Future. We we live in in the new age. We do live in a new age. I I find myself making my TV smart by like having a Chromecast just hooked up to it. How... Stream is going pretty well. Yes, the stream is going all right doing a geo guess at the moment guessing the geos i kind of liked it when there were at least volume controls on this on the television like i didn't know that that was apparently like no longer standard like i guess most smart tvs just don't have buttons or if they do it's like strictly the volume control and the power button like our last tv which we got in like 2009, so it's pretty old now. It's like a uh, a Vizio or something or rather. It had like a full set of channel up, channel down, volume up, uh, input, and like an, an onboard menu that you could use. But the LG, it's just like if you lose your remote, there's like a number written on the back of, that you can like call and buy a replacement remote. <laughs> Yeah, um, I remember Vizio actually did, like, an experiment back in, I want to say 2015, 2016-ish, where uh, instead of having, like, a dedicated uh, remote with all of the functions on it, you just got, like, one basic remote that could, like, flip channels and uh, do your volume and stuff, but everything else was handled by a tablet that came, like, bundled with the thing, so, like, you could use that to... Uh, like stream stuff from Netflix and uh, Hulu, etc., and uh, cast stuff from uh, it to the TV. I thought it was a cool idea, but they abandoned it about a year later because, like, they they found that most people weren't really uh, vibing with it. I guess. See, that actually sounds way better to me because the problem with the remote is that, like. You can use it to do, like, internet stuff. You use it to be, use a, use a browser, use apps, whatever. But it's really inconvenient because it's still, like, it's still a remote. Yeah. I almost wish it had come with, like, a controller or something. Like a, like a video game console would. Or, or something mm. else like that. Or, or like a tablet like they were trying. Because, like... Technically, you can, you know, go on the internet and do whatever with it, but it's not really practical. And in practice, it's mostly just a, a new display thing for our PS4 to use, which is yeah good, like, it's it fine, but the inbuilt functions are not super useful. Also, when you boot it up for the first time, it requires you to agree to a terms of service agreement wherein, like... <laughs> Wherein, television. wherein they tell you that they monitor your 
viewing habits, and you can't like like if you decline, it just the television just turns off. So like okay, um, I mean I don't I don't know if they actually do because like we don't use any of the onboard stuff, but like still, you know, come on, <laughs> like she gonna look over these bitches like turn the reproduction. Uh, where who where's that line from again? Uh I I can't remember the specific song, but I think it was Rich Gang. Was it? Okay. I don't, uh, I don't know why yeah. my mind immediately met, went to fabulous. Uh I'm gonna pull up beat on that pussy and dip. I I can't remember the actual name of the song, but that's it. Yeah. The one with the hook that went like that. Right, 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 right. But uh yeah. GoGo says, don't some smart TVs have, like, an API so you can use it with your phone and tablet? Yes, that's actually called casting, and uh, Google developed it. Okay. Um, and then, also, Apple has, like, their own little version of it called AirPlay, but it isn't as good. Apple AirPlay! <laughs> I like that we got the jingle. That's like an ad, ad lib in the background. Apple AirPlay! Ba- Bailey's a uh, uh, a good one. Hey, uh, hey, Trey. Hey, what? Ricky. Ricky. Incontra Ifan. Iferma le cop. Del suo city. Perdo le parole. I think this is like Italian. I don't know. I have to keep looking around. Hey, my name Ricky. Wow. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually, I wonder if my phone can do that, because even though it is, like, a really rinky-dink budget model, it is an LG phone, so, I don't know, I'll have to look into that, because it would be more convenient to use that thing than the fucking remote they gave us, it's not a very good one. Straight up just using the phone as an alternative remote, since remotes are usually Bluetooth nowadays. Oh, I guess you probably meant like using using IR then. Uh, some phones have IR built into them, although it's it's it isn't terribly common and usually happens only with Android phones. Yeah, we're in Italy. Eat that idiot. <clears throat> the Pope lives here. Ito as a pop. Like an app. <laughs> what if there was an app for Catholicism? Catholic. Yes, I'm a catholic. <laughs> Hello, hi. <laughs> do do do. I'm addicted to cats. Kennedy says, "No, I'm not," which you know is true. I'm actually like really not. Uh, animal person at all but you know it's cool it's so it's it's so (laughs) it's socially acceptable to be a fan of cats and dogs so okay (laughs) that was really funny (laughs) you're addicted to games Uh, (laughs) fucking got him (laughs) What if there was an app for gay rights? Uh, there is. It's called Twitch.tv. Now that we are part of the LGTV plus LG LGTV. Yeah, that's definitely what I meant to say. <laughs> when will your fave? Uh, LGBT plus streaming group on Twitch.tv. I literally don't know if that actually does anything. Like, I I don't know if you were here last week when I when I said this, but you can like opt in to different groups on Twitch and one of them is just LGBT plus and other than adding like a little rainbow icon under my stream I don't know if it does anything rainbows was that an Asdif movie it was didn't like the 11th one of those come out recently or something I don't know if Tom put one out like super recently but I know there are at least 10 it is a tag, and people can search for it. 
Well, that's useful, I guess. I should put, like, a trans gamers one if they have one also. Although, I don't know if Twitch itself monitors those. I don't want to, like, get in trouble because I have sues people on my show sometimes. That would be stupid. I can't eh, imagine. Whatever. I can't imagine they care too much, but I guess you never know. Something, something, gender. Something, something, gender, indeed. It's a little known fact, we are, in fact, the most inclusive stream on Twitch. Who are we stalking? Uh, hello, Izzy. No, we're not stalking anybody. We're playing GeoGuessr. It's a game where they drop you somewhere in Google Street View in the world, and you have to figure out where you are. We know we're in Italy. We're trying to narrow it down further than that. Trony. They don't monitor them. Twitch hit me with that hashtag gay shit. Uh, it's like a mini hospital over here. Probably like a walk-in clinic or something. Bed plus. <laughs> it's like a bed, but extra. Extra bed. 20% more. more bed per bed. Oh, and um, for the people who are new to the stream, I am Jane. This is Trey. Hi. <clears throat> I know I don't sound anything like you would expect. Somebody whose username is, what is it right now? Jane, some say Janet, I think, on the trans gaming discord. Or is it still Disaster Lesbian over there? I don't remember. I change my username too often on Discord. You're a chameleon. A person of many identities. Ha ha. He he. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hoo hoo. I sound like a total boy, so... Yeah, I, I know not... I just like to clarify for the sake of knowing who's talking and when. <clears throat> Janet Plain. Janet Plain. If I ever own a jet, I should call it that. Janet Plain. The Janet Plain. I'm just going to put us in Italy now. You sound way better than me. Well, thank you. I actually, I uh, notice sometimes I like kind of bring my voice up a little bit when I'm streaming, and I don't even really mean to. It just kind of happens. I can do like real low like this, but obviously I don't sound like that normally. Trans problems? I am actually. I actually sound like this in real life. I I I have a deep ass voice. Did you like get really close to the microphone to do that? No, I'm just I'm just doing it. Okay. <laughs> I sound like a queer boy. <laughs> uh, only on oh wow, we were like totally on the other end of Italy. We were like near the the part where the boot kicks the triangle. Near Reggio. Only on an LGBT mm. stream would saying that you sound like a queer boy be considered, like, not a horrible thing. <sighs> Usually when people call each other queer on Twitch, they don't mean it in a good way. Thankfully, I know that my chat is better than that. We have some pretty good folks around here. Tutin Tutty in Karugu. What? What? Tutty in Karugu. You may find yourself living in a shotgun. Zavata. Zarata. Might be in Italy again. Or like very well could be like uh, the Iberian Peninsula. No, I'm pretty sure this is Italy just because of the presence of the word or Agnelli. <laughs> <laughs> Me big gay. Oh, same. 
me just me. But, you know. Trey is a good lad. Aww. I am just a humble octopus witch trying to make it in this crazy world. Lord, I was born a rambling man. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, doing the best I can. Uh, who among us doesn't ramble? I agree with Heinz words and shit. Do 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 Mario I'm a Kumba. Do you ever wonder Again. Do you ever wonder if Mario does just like mundane plumber things but only off screen? Woohoo I'm going to go clean up these pipes now. <laughs> That'll be fifty dollars. But all known laws of aviation by shouldn't be able to fly. But buys fly anyway, cause fuck your straight oppression can't keep me down. Iconic. I am nodding my head in agreement. So, usually you only get ones like this in, like, America, where it's just, like, a winding road in the middle of absolutely nowhere with nothing around. It's good to know that there's places like this in Europe, too. But at least we've got an idea of where, like, I yeah. think. My, this is going to sound ridiculous, but my guess is that we're in, like, Corsica or something. Because I, I believe they speak Italian there. Or even maybe, like, Malta. Like, somewhere where there's not a lot of development. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Sardinia. Corsica, I think, is the French one. Remember they both speak Italian? I don't remember anymore. I'll put us in a... I don't know. I'll put us near Oristano. Tentatively. Fair enough. Shook? Fair enough, <laughs> their partner. <clears throat> Y'all come back now, you hear? Trey, of course, is doing his best Italian accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sugar. You don't know the half of Italia. All of us sound like this. What? 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 <laughs> Are you looking at this? There's just what used to be a van. Just... There's a story here. Good lord. Oh, it's... Oh, that's a masterpiece. Just nothing for miles I tell and you miles. What, I, I tell you what, I was driving with my 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 mama on on the way to go see my dad at work, and uh, we saw we saw a car that had a big sticker with the bat bat symbol on it, and I I told my mama, Mama, I didn't know the Batmobile was a Dodge Dart. It, it was it was funny. Uh, art, yes, I agree. That's a Picasso painting right there. See, for a second there, you went from Texan into like three students. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yep. I didn't know Bansky did installations in Italy. <laughs> Oh goodness. D A E D A E The Modern World has problems. 
Has anyone ever considered the revolutionary idea that the world we live in is not perfect? Dismaland. Dismaland. Uh, they had to remind me of that one. <laughs> God. He also had, like, this long-running feud with a British graffiti artist named King Rabo. Which mm. was dumb. What is... Oh, I guess this is like a roadside memorial. That's depressing. Also, like, good lord. What a way to go. What do we got here? De charge! De charge. <laughs> I giggled way too much on that segment. Yeah, I think we can add Tex and Dre to the recurring bits <laughs> on, <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> the, <laughs> shapes and forms and like air sats. Shapes and forms that I sometimes do instead of the regular PJ Live stuff. We'll have to add at least a couple of those like to the Shred Me soundboard. <laughs> I want to get an actual soundboard at some point. Like when I move, I want to upgrade my streaming setup a little bit and get some like, I don't know, maybe like a a webcam, you do that super annoying thing that people do where they put, like, their face down here in the corner. Hey, gamers! Playing a game here. Yeah, that, but, like, actually. Hey, gamers! Odd. <laughs> that, but, like, seriously. Yeah. Because, you know, people crave that facial interaction. Or maybe not, I don't know. They but crave that mineral. They crave that mineral. Um, and here we have, like, what was a house in, like, Roman times, and is no longer. And just some wooden pallets. Wood. Wood. Whatever a wood there. This is the, we, we went in a circle. A loop. Fuck. Well, I'm done. I'm just gonna guess. Sorry, sorry to you now. Oh, we were actually, we were on Corsica. Okay, I was right the first time. Oh, we were in the middle of a natural park. That's why, uh, like, like a, like a, uh, a national park. That's why we couldn't find anything. Yeah. Gamers. Yeah, that would be my thing. Is I would lean into that like it was the most hilarious joke ever made every time. Gamers. <clears throat> uh, we're in the middle of like a a courtyard. Oh, we can't move. Courtyard. That's the problem. Uh, haven't we gotten this one before? I think we have. Maybe. We've got, there's like some, there's like several where you're like stuck inside of a building or you otherwise cannot move. Uh, like, shit though, because I don't recognize this flag in this position. Uh, what about this over here? That's just like a signboard. Uh, uh, I mean, like, I know my world flags pretty well, but that doesn't look like much of anything to me. Store tour. This is our only clue. Store tour. It's store not even, tour. not even, like, the whole thing, because there's clearly, like, part of it here that we can't see because of that fucking Jeep that had to park there. Um... And all of the rest of this text is too far away to be legible. Well. Uh. What about. Like, Volvo. Hyundai. The, these cars could be from, like, any country on Earth. Uh. Uh. Well, we know we're on Europe. We know we're in Europe, so we got the continent narrowed down at least. I'm just gonna guess Italy again, because we were in Italy the last two times. Well, Italy and then Corsica. I'm thinking... Monaco. Monaco. I don't know. I actually but... don't remember where Monaco It's like right here. Sure, whatever. Why not? Oh, we were both very oh, wrong. Oh, okay. We yeah. were in... We were in Vaxio. Vax... Vaxio... I don't know how to pronounce this. We were in Sweden. One star. I hate ones where you can't move. 
It'd be better if there were more descriptive information. But no. This is way more nor Norie. I was too late. No. <laughs> uh, and this just looks like England, maybe? Scotland? Somewhere in the UK. Keep clear. Well, they speak English here. Keep do, calm and carry on. Do they speak English in what? Sprechen. Snell Hat Cemetery, Crawley Baptist Church. Yeah, we're in England. If you snell. Ring my snail, ring my snail, ring my snail. What the rock is cooking? What is this? Crawley Leisure Park. Interesting logo. For those this. times when you gotta be leisurely. It also doesn't appear to be a park. It appears to be a, uh, like a, a shopping center. Shopping center. Which is like yeah. almost the opposite of a park. <laughs> Although there's a health club there, so I guess that's something. One of the many, many things owned by Richard Branson. Oh, is it? Uh, the, it was the a, it was a virgin. It, it, it said virgin on it. Okay, I didn't know that. I, I knew yeah. that Richard Branson was a rich person. I didn't know what he actually owned. Yeah, Hollywood, no, he's the Virgin Group guy. Hollywood Bowl Diner. Interesting. I like and their the movies. I like their logo. Right next to it. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is actually like a nice little place. You could get some lunch over here, and then you could hop over here and watch, uh, I don't know, what's in the theaters right now? Black Panther, is that still showing, or is that over now? Uh, Black Panther's still in theaters. Oh, actually, they got... We can we can, we can look at what was in the movie theaters. Uh, Beauty and in... the Beast. Heck Peppa yeah, Pig. Peppa Pig. Let's go, let's go see Peppa Pig in, in theaters. <laughs> in, cinema, in cinemas this Easter. God. Here is a rule that's, of that's, thumb. That's how I'm, that's how I'm going to spend my eight pounds. Just, <laughs> like... Just sitting in the, in the theater, uh, having an existential crisis <laughs> we'll as Peppa, Peppa uh, insults George in, in the middle of the bathtub. Like, <laughs> God. Uh, here is a rule of thumb. In the south, roofs are more flat. In the north, they have taller roofs, so the weight of the snow doesn't destroy the older ones. Huh. Peppa Pig, heck yeah, fuck yes. <laughs> What else was playing? Uh, the live-action Beauty and the Beast. <clears throat> Unforgettable. Table 19. The Power, Power Rangers. Rangers movie. Rules Don't Apply. The Beauty and the Beast again. Going in Style. The Promise. Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, the Ghost in the Shell movie. Yeah. Power. I, I guess that's a Wonder Woman. Yeah, because that's Wonder Woman right there. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, and it's Guardians Volume 2, so they must have taken that last year. Like, semi-recently, yeah. Also, uh, like... a Peppa Pig movie in 2017. That, that show, I think, like, is really, really popular in Britain. I might be wrong about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 no, you're, you're definitely right about that. That is a thing over there. Uh, also, like, I've never heard of most of these movies. <laughs> I don't know if I just, like, am not in the loop with that, which is very possible, or what? Frankie and Benny's New York-style Italian restaurant and bar. There you go. Accuracy. And there's a Pizza Hut. Uh, I had Pizza Hut today, earlier. CC bought me some. Bad chicken and a Pizza Hut. And there's... This is... This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. Bella Italia directly adjoined to to a McDonald's. <laughs> They appear to share yeah, the yeah. same outdoor seating, too, which is really great. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to say we're somewhere in England, and I'm rushing because I have to go use the restroom.
Yeah, we were like a little bit farther south than I thought. We were near Brighton. Yeah, no, I don't need the thing to open. Yep. View summary, and then we will play again. But first, two. I have to go take a break real quick. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, folks. See you momentarily. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Hey Google, say Peppa Pig. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Some virtual assistant you are. Pepper. Pig. Pepper. Pig. Sharks. Swords. Yogurt. Kicks. Fries. Smartphones. Hot tubs. Yeah. Shades. Bagels. Grills. Airbrush. Chrome, blankets, mopeds, yes, drop top, laptop, breath mints, scars, kittens, wet skis, drive throughs, fresh, tight pants, widescreens, tacos, wheelies, freestyles, thrift stores, mini trampolines, pickle, and peanut. Bars. <laughs> that's 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 what we do. That's that's how we do it. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's. McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's. McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Hello? Hello. Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Pizza Hut. <laughs> I'm at the Pizza Hut. I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at, I'm the, at combination the combination Pizza, pizza Hut, Hut the taco. and Taco Bell. Good, good to know you're just as bad at the filling time as me. Now win, that's not very nice. Also, hello. I mean, to be fair, I was I was reciting the theme song to Pickle and Peanut while you were away, and have I, I don't know if you've heard it or not, but it's it's something. I have not. But I will take your word that it is indeed something. Win. 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 It's a win win situation. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do America. America. And we he see here the representation of the average American GeoGuess, which is. Uh, you know, waves of amber grain and not much else. Purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. Yes. Also, uh, I saw somebody say, yeah, I wonder what the secret menu would be like, referring to the McDonald's uh, Italian restaurant in the last... Yes, I uh, have actually been to the world's largest McDonald's in Orlando, Florida. Although not since I was a kid. Uh, you may ask me anything. And also, they do in fact have an expanded menu, or at least they did when I was there like 10, 15 years ago now. Uh, but all the McDonald's have diff different, uh, uh, have expanded menus now that they serve breakfast all day that's true but like they had like pizza and stuff god why would you ever want to get a mc, a mc, mc pizza i think i got it wasn't like 
like actual like full on pizza. Do they have fries? Yes, they have French fries at the world's largest McDonald's. Um, you want some fries with that? It wasn't. You they want some fries with that? They didn't have like full on pizzas, but they had like little personal pan pizzas, and I, I had one. I was a kid. That was pretty easy to please, but I remember it being all right. They had soft pretzels, and then they had like a partnership with Baskin Robbins, so they had like the full. 31 flavors or, or whatever it is. Wow. I, I actually have seen a couple of Maccas around that do have uh, soft pretzels, though, because, like, uh, those those seem to be more popular uh, with the ones that are in, like, McDonald's's and... Well, not not, not McDonald's. The McDonald's's that are, like, in Walmarts and stuff. Yeah, so that's actually... And I didn't know this until I was older. My mom put me onto the, put me onto this piece of information... The ones that have uh, that are in within uh, Walmart, and they have a larger menu. The extra yeah. food items actually come from Walmart. Like yeah, yeah. There's like a, there's like a partnership there, and then Walmart gives them like basically theater snacks, essentially like uh, pretzels and buckets of popcorn. Did NL get his will? What? Were you at the proto McDonald's world? Did they have all the special? Oh, I remember this bit. Yeah, no, they did not have all the international McDonald's menu items from across the world. Just the International House of McDonald's, the IHOM. <laughs> IHOM. Do they have tacos? They might have had tacos. I don't remember. Did they have a Mac tonight? They did have. They have. An, they had an entire room with like. An actual... You got to do <laughs> what you want to do. There ain't no rules for you. Do. I like that song a lot. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. Yes. Enjoy Yourself by St. Pepsi. Track one on the official Shapes and Forms DJ mix. Um... But uh, they actually had, like, an entire room with, like, an animatronic Mac tonight sitting in the corner, and they would have him sing occasionally. <laughs> the rest of the time, he just kind of sat there, which was funny, mostly. And I don't know, maybe that's where my weird affection for the character came from. He he's he, he just chills out. He's such a, it's like, it's such a dumb character idea that it loops back around into great. It's like... What should we do to represent the fact that our McDonald's are now open later? Have what about... we discussed the fact that the fish man in The Shape of Water was played by the same guy that did Mac tonight in the commercials? Though? What? Yes. That's... God, talk about range. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. They actually, and... uh, what country is it? It's like Thailand or something. They still use Mac tonight occasionally. I believe it. Like, like one, one international branch of McDonald's, he was like really popular there. So they just kept him as like a secondary mascot. Uh, Suffield's Furniture. We're actually like in a place with stuff now. Special deer, special deals on beer and smokes. That's how you know you're see, in the U.S. of A. See, when I think of PDQ in relation to food, I think of a chicken place that's actually pretty good down here in North Carolina. I don't think of a gas station at all. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of PDQs either. It might be like a... Yeah, I think it's like the Chevron is the gas park, but then they got this, like... That's, that's their that's the convenience store. That's their thing. It's the convenience store. Do they have long pork at it the world? It just so happens to be a food establishment. Ha ha. Do they have long pork at the world's biggest McDonald's? No, you cannot buy human meat at the world's biggest McDonald's. As far as we know. Dun 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 dun. But, but can you? Can you get fava beans in a nice Kiani? Dun 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 dun! 
Special on beer and smoke, three fifty nine chicken basket. Three dollars fifty nine cents. There's something chicken. really funny about the term chicken basket. Is that just me? Chicken basket. It sounds like something you would call somebody to make to like insult them. You're a fucking chicken basket. <laughs> <laughs> like a... Chicken basket is the name of my new uh, Indietronica project. <laughs> Washington Federal. Maybe we're in Washington State, although that seems like a loose. Uh... Only the essentials. Beer. Smokes. Chicken. I remember the one time I was on vacation to Ocean City, Maryland, and there was this place that, as far as we could tell, did not actually have a name. It was just this green building, they had a gas station, they had a convenience store, and the only sign out front just said beer in big red letters. <laughs> and beer. We, still, we still talk about that place from time to time. Elk, Drug, and Soda Fountain. Huh. I wouldn't mind going in here. So wait, there's... is this like a map of the area? Dayton Chamber of Commerce. Dayton County. Where could that be? Sorry, go on, go on. Uh, fuck. Let's let's see. I I can't remember what I was gonna <laughs> say. I love chickens. Izzy, are you Ed from Ed Ed and Eddie? Not that that would be a bad thing. I like it. I love chickens. Oh, I love chickens, Eddie. Yes, chickens are very good. <laughs> yeah, but how can we make money off of them? That's it. That's the show. That's the show. <laughs> oh, I love it, Ed and Eddie. You see they're, that? They're that... very good. That <laughs> you seen that post that's going around? It's like the guy. Being like, what kind of hobby is making cursed amulets? I have not seen that, but okay, that sounds so it's, wonderful. It's a screen cap of a Tumblr post that someone responded to on 4chan and then came back onto Tumblr. So, keep envision that as, as I tell you this. It's like... Layers. The first guy is like, what kind of fucking hobby is making, is making cursed amulets? I bet somebody's going to have a real nasty time putting this putting this on. Get a real fucking hobby, you jerks. And then the response is just a picture of Eddie from Ed, Ed and Eddie making this really weird face and being, and the caption says, cranky that you're cursed, are you? A plague on both of your houses. My brother calls me Ed, though. Oh, I missed the first comment. I'm Izzy. Is, is, and is he? What if it was like, is, isn't, and is not? Be like a show about grammar. And got busy. Was that The Incredibles? Yes. I had to dig for a second. I'm like, wait, I know where that's from. <laughs> Life has many doors, Ed boys. <laughs> Fiesta you came and to the Fiesta. wrong neighborhood, Ed Boy. <laughs> uh, one plus one equals Ed is, like, the foundation for most of my sense of humor. I can recite that entire episode by heart, which is scary. Blue Mountain Hotel. I actually but, live near a Blue Mountain motel, but I'm pretty but sure it's the not the mountains, there. the majesties, they're purple. The uh, fruited plains. I don't know. I'm just going to put us in Washington State and bite it the if I get it wrong. The fruited plains. Oh. We were in, uh, okay, we were in Montana. All right. Idaho. Um, oh, were we? Yeah, okay, we yeah. were in Idaho. Sorry. I forgot that Idaho. Idaho does that like weird. I don't know what you would call this shape. Idaho. It's like a, a broken key. Idaho makes me think of Napoleon Dynamite. I was wrong as fuck. Yeah, the thing you learned about doing the American 
map in GeoGuessr is that, like, the entirety of the United States looks exactly the same. <laughs> it's just all... It's all this, basically. I mean, sometimes it's like... Oh, it's uh, rolling fields of grain, or sometimes it's forest, but mostly it's just roads in the middle of goddamn nowhere. And you have to figure out where the hell you are. America, fuck America. yeah. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. Joe Exotic for President 2020. I am not cutting my hair. <laughs> I am gay. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. There's not enough harmless idiots anymore. <laughs> God. Oh, speaking of idiots, look at what this person's got in their yard. Road. And on 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 and on. We drive on the road. Random thing, but apparently Fred Durst really likes Putin and was at some point banned from the Ukraine because of that. Yeah, I've heard about that. Fred Durst is a strange, strange person. He had a Twitch channel for a while, and it was just like him talking about his son and being vaguely sad the dude's got issues like i don't know i would put fred fred durst in the like mostly harmless idiot category too unless he's done something that i'm not aware of but oh well i guess we have a good idea of where we are yeah, that's pretty on the nose about it, isn't it? Three miles east of Brenham on 290. So we're in South Texas. Where 40 the, acres. Where the hell is Brenham? If Noelle was here, she might be able to help us. But she is not, alas. I think I Sandy turned into... Keats, help us. You're our only hope. I think I turned into, like, Solid Snake for two seconds there. <laughs> Metal Gear. Ugh, South Texas. Mm. South Texas. Kept you waiting, huh? What is what is 290? I don't see a 290. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's 290. Here's 290. Johnson City. Austin. Giddings. Carmine. Burton. Brenham. So we're like, we're around here somewhere. Yeah, okay, that one was actually pretty good. Check that right. out. We nice. were like, we were right here. Cool. Fred Durst needs to die already? I don't know, I think that's a bit extreme. A lot Jane. of people didn't like Limp Biscuit very much. <laughs> Jane, he's mostly harmless. Izzy, I want him dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, unless he's done something that I'm not aware of that merits intense dislike, he mostly just seems kind of stupid, honestly. <laughs> like, he does have that song with Method Man where he talks about you have to, like, look into his eyes to see the size of the flames, which is a really, really bad lyric, but also really funny. Look into my eyes. See the size of the flames. Molina's mm. Restaurant and Lounge. Uh, also, Motel yeah. RV Park. Oh yeah, this place, like, they really got it all, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> you can eat here, you can sleep here, you can hit your RV. We don't care. Do whatever. Where's the gentleman's club now? <laughs> uh, I remember when we ran into what was it called, like Big Mo's or something, in this, like the middle of. <laughs> that the, was the saddest thing I've the, ever like seen. Like the middle of like Oklahoma God. or something. <laughs> 
Fort... God, that place, that place was haunted. Fort Klamath and Sprague River. Well, gee, now I know right where we are. Gosh. Sprague River doesn't even sound like a real place. Sounds like something out of a fucking fairy tale. Yes, Pickle, you must travel across the Sprague River and kiss the toad on the lips to have your princess marry you. Or whatever the hell. Indeed. Shalakwin and Crater Lake. Exit 247. Loving Putin is kind of a reason to stay in him. Yeah, yeah I, 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 get, I guess I get that. I don't know. Like... I think it partly is just because, like, whenever I think of Fred Durst, I just think of him wearing that stupid backwards red cap, which he does still wear, and I get, like, kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I have, like, too, like an overabundance of empathy for people I don't know. You see, Ivan, we, we perpetuate the idea that we... That I am shirtless Russian James Bond to <laughs> to make Fred Durst love me. The you see Ivan memes are like definitely some of my favorites that exist. You see Ivan? <laughs> Hold gun like this and will not miss for fear of being too afraid of recoil. <laughs> God. Uh. Okay, but can we actually uh, acknowledge the fact that Putin does kind of look like Daniel Craig? Does he? I don't know what Daniel he, Craig looks he, like. He does. James Bond. He looks kind of like James Bond. <laughs> Isn't that a stalker meme? It might have started out there, but I see it just like... Generally it's what happens is, <laughs> is like somebody posts a picture of um, something strange looking that appears to be taking place in a vaguely Eastern European area and then it's you see Ivan and then you make the funny from that Hopef template. Hopefully uh, like our entire audience is just imagining you and I just slob squatting now. <laughs> That's that. That's gotta be. That's gotta be a requirement. If they weren't before, they are now. Yeah, you know, it's like that sometimes. It'd be like that. What is a stalker mean? Stalker is a series of I think three. Uh, open world FPS video games that were developed in somewhere in the former Soviet Union. I want to say the Ukraine, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, I love how, uh, oh, uh, oh what, what were we talking about? Oh, um, we were talking about the, the UC Ivan meme. I love how, like, the, um, the bottom of my window does not capture properly. Like, you guys are seeing everything, but there's also this little extra bit below the the normal window where there's just like a bunch of mouse cursors bugging out. It's duplicate. I don't know what's causing that. Make make two. Actually, let me see two if I can capture window. If I can Double. like <laughs> turn that turn this on and off, maybe it'll stop. Double capacity for, for success. Uh, can somebody? What the hell is this? It's like a fucking fortification over here. <laughs> That's where you put the archer. <laughs> what is this? We we we're around somewhere that hosts Renaissance fairs every weekend. Campgrounds, Coiler Logging Museum, Collier, oh, Collier, Collier Logging Museum, and Collier Day Use. What? 
We're in like the middle of a national park. The cursors are tripping out, goddamn. Yeah, now they're doing it again. I don't know what's causing that. It's like in a little black bar below the, the window. It is most unusual. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. I don't remember how the rest goes, because I think I listened to the thing that that's like a mashup of that and Country Grammar by Nelly way more often than I listen to Basket Case by itself. We're going down, down, baby, your place in a Range Rover, sweep, sweep a baby, pop, ready to let it go. Boom, boom. Yes. I think that is some electricity thingy. It could very well be an electricity thingy. <clears throat> a transformer, more than meets the eye. <laughs> That reminded me that, in, in in order, reminded me that I have a Transformer toy on my wish list on my Amazon page because I'm 12. Which in turn reminded me that uh, I have been, like, successfully marketed to by the enamel pin industry. Because I see all these tweets that are going around, like, enamel pins are gay culture. And now I want, like, a lot of them. One day I will try to see if I can own Rewind, the the Transformer, because I think he's cool. And it's been a minute since I've read More Than Meets the Eye. Which one's Rewind? I, I, I want to say he's the the neurosurgeon, but that's Brainstorm, I think. That's the that's the tape dude, the archivist. Right. The, the, he like turns into a USB stick or something, doesn't he? Um. I I think that he was originally like a cassette player, uh, and like in the G1 continuity, that's what he is still. Okay. Or or something like that. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I can never keep the alt mode straight, except for the ones that are really weird, like Rung's thing where he turns into like a fucking metal stick. I tried to do a three jet mech run of Into the Breach, and it turns out if an enemy is in the corner, I can't do anything. Yeah, that seems to be the defining, like, thing that makes, like, the three of one mech challenge runs hard, is that a lot of the mechs have, like, weird uh, crippling weaknesses that you need other ones to cover up for, but because of the nature of the challenge, you can't use them. So I guess the idea would be to just, like, get lucky the first couple missions and then acquire some kind of other weapon to help you out. Self-imposed difficulty, ahoy. Yeah, but you gotta do it so you get the medals, Trey. You gotta get the medals. For the, for the medals. For they, the medals. The achievements. Well, they, the they, glory. They unlock stuff. Oh, they do? Yeah. Hmm. And you need, like, what is the last thing? You need, like, 25 of them to get, like, the last thing in the game. I think I saw Alexandra Zandra tweeting about it the other day. Damn. What does this say? Chrome Shop? Or Maybe? Uh, it looks, I thought that was or, a, I thought this was Romy. a, I thought that these were T's. So I was parsing it as, like, Thromped Shop. <laughs> What is oh, this? Gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't really take a look at this thing until just... Oh my god! What um, is this? What is this? Is it anatomically correct? Uh... For a monster from another planet, maybe? Is this the Vec? Why is keep there a off. keep off sign in front of it? Nobody's <laughs> trying to climb this thing. 
I swear, like, part of it is blurred, like, near the crotch. Good lord! <laughs> Are you, like, uh, this is guy, it's got, like, teeth and then this horrible eye. Is and, it a like, cow? I think it might have been a cow once, long ago, in another <laughs> life. But now, now it is other. I mean, Christ, like, you could take a picture of this thing and use it as a Dungeons and Dragons monster and nobody would question it. Maybe there are, maybe it's made of chrome and it's, it's, it's just rusting. reflecting really poorly. <laughs> oh, God. God. I hope that it's anatomically correct, though, honestly. <laughs> Why is I want I want to see the shiny, the shiny cow dog. Uh, it's so distressing. We have to move on. We gotta go. Why is there even a chrome shop here? Like, if this isn't, if this is in the middle of a national, like, nature preserve, you gotta, you, you gotta get your rims shine. Uh, you gotta you, pimp you out gotta, your truck your while you're in the middle you of fucking nowhere. Shine on. <laughs> put, put your twenty fours on your Hummer while you're on the way to fucking Yellowstone. I think I. Put... Yellowstone. I think I played video <laughs> games with things like this as enemies, some sort of cow demon. Actually, now that now that you say that you use the specific words cow demon, it does kind of look like something out of Dark Souls. Like imagine that, like trying to ram you with its head in a like sort of circular arena while your character has a sword. You see what I mean? Make a make it a video game. Sell it for millions of dollars. Have <laughs> EA publish it and then make a sequel that ruins everything with <laughs> microtransactions. <laughs> uh, something something Crimson Dragoon. Uh, what is this sign? Where was it? Here it is. Do not pass snow plows on the right. Wild. Do not pass snow plows on the right. On the right. Hey Trey, I don't know if you if you saw, but like if you see a snow plow, you're not supposed not to pass, pass it on the right. On the right. Yeah, you can't you can't do that. They don't want you doing it. You gotta do it to the left. I'm just everything I'm just, you own in a box to the left. Just gonna put us like up here. We were in Oregon. Okay. No, I did not enjoy that location. Fuck off. Gosh. Uh I'm... Yeah, turns turns out cow demons the portal to Gravity Falls. <laughs> oh yeah. Gravity Falls does take place in Oregon. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna be right back and then we will finish up this round of GeoGuessr. Thank you, Doug. Video games. Video games.
Diddly bop bop. Once again, I have returned to ravage the world as I did in days long past. Back again. I'm going to look at this basketball net. We're playing basketball. Uh, Trey, do you like sports at all? Or no? No. No. <laughs> That's fair. I was thinking, like, when I moved to Chicago, I might just get, like, really into soccer and root for the Chicago Fire all the time. I mean, that's fair. And just be, like, extremely obnoxious about it. It seems like a good, like, a good thing to do. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're living your best life there, there kid. Uh, or like hockey and the Blackhawks, I guess, would be another option. Especially nah, since, like, uh, I think the Blackhawks are, like, one of the really good teams in the NHL. If I remember things I've, like, learned peripherally from Northern Lions streams correctly. I do kind of wish they'd change their logo, though, but that's another topic for another time. Hey, a Valero. Liken to sports. At least we're in, like, a town this time. Um, look, they've got a CVS here and everything. What is Stripes? I guess that's just like the convenience store over there. It's a store. It's convenient. La Feria Bakery and Panaderia. What's a Panaderia? I see what you did there. What did I do? What did I do where? What do we? Los Leones. Restaurant. I can't tell if there's like... Actually a large Spanish-speaking population in where we are, or if it's just like... Coincidental. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I might have seen a Puerto Rican flag in the... Oh, no, okay. You can see my confusion, though, because there's the star and the blue from over here kind of look like a flag. At any rate, I, I do remember having seen a BBVA compass, like... I, I remember when I was in Alabama, I think that was uh, one of the banks that was present there, so... I, I don't know. I think this is in the continental U.S., but, like, I don't know. Yeah. I actually don't know, and that would be, uh, like, a real curveball. I don't know if it's possible to get, like, the U.S. outlying territories on this map. I know you can get them in GeoGuessr in general, because I've ended up in Guam and, um... Where was it? Not the Virgin Islands, but the one in, in Asia that I'm now forgetting the name of. I've, I've ended up in places like that before. But I don't know if they count as part of the U.S. for the purposes of this map. Be one way to make it harder, I guess. Yeah. First, uh... First what? First Baptist Church. You know, there's all these churches called the First Baptist Church. They can't all be right. Where's the second, huh? Where's the 23rd Baptist? I am 12. 
I was earnestly making a statement about the hockey team. How do helicopters play hockey? You see, because the Black Hawk is also a kind of attack chopper that the, the military uses, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they must... Because, they, look, they got, like, Spanish on the... Uh, Compassion. And uh, Ciudad... Ciudadania? Ciudad on the... Uh, Ciudad Ania. Why is that so hard for me to say? Um, which I think means, like, city area. But I might be wrong. I do not speak the language. Language. Uh, uh... Okay, well, we're probably in America. <laughs> yeah. Like... I like the... Maybe we're like, this is, what is this? Is this like a, like a, a tiger, I guess? And a, yeah. and a, a little mouse thing. It's a transport Eagle. helicopter. Eagle. Rumination espresso. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now, too. It's like, it's really making me do a rumination? Maybe we're in, like, Florida or something? You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, maybe. Near, near, the, uh, near the coast, possibly. First Presbyterian Church. Wow, this town's got so many historical churches, I have no idea. Havana, ooh, na, na. Trey, I see you putting frogs in the chat. Frog. I needed to check to see if uh, my my subscription had gone through yet, because I resub. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It lo it looks like it's through. Yeah, you got the little uh, little <clears throat> purple block with the white star in it next to your name. Cool. Uh. I don't know. I'm gonna go with my guess of Florida. We'll see. Florida. We'll see. Okay. Now, I would like to 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 make to like argue my case here. It is true that I was in Texas. However, like I think I had the general idea pretty much down. It's just it wasn't. Uh, it was on the wrong side of the Gulf. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've guessed like near Miami. Instead, we were near McAllen. Yes, because McAllen is the uh, the the landmark that everyone's gonna gonna know from Southern Texas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I bet this is Texas too. This looks like Sandy's hometown. Possibly. <laughs> Who's Sandy? Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob. <laughs> is that like a thing in the show? She's from Texas? Yeah, she is from Texas. Ah, uh, SpongeBob. Ocean Man, take me by Ocean the hand. Man. Take me to the land. Help me understand. Both states love guns and racism. Now, I don't know. I've lived in Florida. I think that's only true of, like, half the state. The rest of Florida's cool. Florida has been pretty chill in my experiences with it. But, I, should, you know. I should, should mention I only lived there for, like, four months. But, you know. And I was a child. So maybe I'm not the best judge. I did visit last year, though. That was fun. Well, actually, the trip itself wasn't very fun at all. Now that I think about it, I got sunburned and had to stay in the hotel for most of the trip. Uh. Driving there was fun. <laughs> Gosh, that's a long way, too. 
Yeah, we literally were driving for like an entire day. Jeez. Well, actually, no, it was more than that. We drove for, like, some amount of time to get to, like, a halfway point somewhere in Georgia. And, oh, thank you, Win, for the subscription. Izzy's Tattoo Itches. Tatted up. Also, it tells me the tiers of people that subscribe now. I don't think it did that before. Not that I care. Like, you know, subscribe within your means, including if that's not at all, you know. I appreciate it very much in any in any case. It's just interesting. Somebody show off my emote, because I like seeing it in chat. Have I seen your tattoo? I don't think so. It's super cool, like me. I don't think I could ever get a tattoo because I'm terrified of needles. I tried. It didn't work. Oh, it's Planet 14. You 14, jeez. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's definitely your fault for not remembering the super intuitive name for the emote that they forced me to use. Definitely your fault, and not Twitch's fault at all. That's user-friendliness. And in case you didn't know, that was sarcasm. But, yeah, I... Amazon.com, and you're done. <laughs> uh, I've been pinged in Discord. Oh, it's Disney's tattoo. It's, uh... I know that character. Who is that? Is he? If you want to post that in the Twitch chat, you certainly can. Because now I, I want to. I I know that I know that character from somewhere, and I can't remember where. It's like a little uh, cat individual with like a bobble on their head, and it has uh, pixel hearts below it. And I feel like I know that from somewhere, but I don't remember where. Can't believe my NBF is gay. <laughs> Homosexuality. In. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna like uh, post it here for her because I don't know if she's comfortable doing that. Oh, there it is. Yet we have some people from other servers here today, which is actually good because it means, like, expanding my audience and all that junk. Diversification! Yes. Oh, that's uh, Moogle from Final Fantasy. Moogle! Moogle. Moogle, okay, yeah. I've seen that character before, but I've never, I've never actually played that game. But I know I've seen it before, so I was like, I know yeah. I know that from somewhere, just not sure where. It's a very yeah, good they're pretty, they're pretty popular within the series as like uh, as like secondary characters. They they show up a lot. Kind of like series. the uh, the chocobos. Yeah, yeah, like a chocobos. recurring sort of element, sort of thing. Gotcha. Chocobo. One of my favorite thing, one of my favorite things that I've like seen of of people being Final Fantasy fans is like a bird that uh, learned how to how to whistle the uh, the the chocobo theme, and it's <laughs> just a little budgy and it's adorable. Birds are good. Birds are very good. Koopo. 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 The pixel hearts are Legend of Zelda hearts. That's fair enough. Zeruda. <laughs> More like Zaldo. Zelda. I need to get a new SD card so I can play A Link Between Worlds again. Because the SD card that was in my 3DS 
Not only did it break, it has a hole in it. And I don't know how that happened. Oh, yikes. I don't even know how that could have happened. Like, like it, it looks like somebody, like, stabbed it. I have no idea what could have possibly happened to my 3DS. And the 3DS itself is fine. It's just mm -hmm. the... Just the card. Oh, no. Pretty strange. Anyway. Yeah. I, I experimented with, uh... With, with using one of the, like, DS emulators to play, uh, I think it was Diamond <laughs> earlier today, but but I wasn't, like, particularly feeling it, because, like, just the, uh, the, not having the physical controls was a big thing, like, I didn't yeah. feel like it felt right, so, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see my other means as to what I can do for that. Uh, I'm you, still gonna you do them a... one day. You have a Vita, right? Uh, yeah, but it's broken. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, I, I think there's, like, a feature-complete DS emulator for the Vita, although I'm not 100% sure. Jeez. But, anyway, that is... <laughs> Link Between Girls. That is our GeoGuessr for the evening, and also our show for the evening. It is already midnight, goodness. Um, we will, in all likelihood, be back tomorrow at the same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, with myself, with Trey, and hopefully with our returning usual co-host, Shredney Vashtar. He's been having some technical issues the past few days. Hopefully he can, or past few streams, or rather, hopefully he can return uh, to the, the shapes and forms fold. Uh, this has been PJ Live, and let me just get the thing up. There we go. Uh, if you are new to the stream, which I know at least one of you are, so I'm going to go into the full full spiel here, if you'll allow me to do my Hey Gamers voice. Um, Gamers. I stream twice a week, generally on Friday and Saturday nights from 9 to 12, uh, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, also, I am going to fetch a link to my Discord server. Who sent me a direct message? Oh, that's a friend request. Okay. Um, going to drop a link to my Discord server because... Because... Hold on, let me... Because of the wonderful things he does. Let me... Well, uh... see, the wizard... The wonderful wizard of Oz. Yes, I'm going to drop a link to my Discord server because I am the Wizard of Oz. Um, because if you would like to, you can join. It's not really a fan community, but a kind of just a personal server and general hangout that I also advertise these streams on. Uh, like I said, we're going to be back here tomorrow. On Sunday from 9 to 12, we are going to be doing the first... Uh, Magic Planet Anime Group Watch Night. So if you would like to come watch the first half of the Anime Occult Academy with us, you may do so. There are details in the server in the Updates channel. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you can subscribe for any amount you wish, or with uh, Twitch Prime. We're fans of each other. Yes, that's a very good way to put it. Um, yeah, so that is the whole deal. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Have a lovely, lovely evening. As a final side note, um, I'm kind of feeling up to some crunchy roulette later, so if anybody would like to join me on my server in like half an hour after I go eat some food, we can do that. But that's up to you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.